everybody, I'm having a Disco Elysium adventure, welcome uh, to the proximity. Uh, I'm going back over to the, uh, uh, I don't know how to say it, so the fishing village, the lady gave it a name, but like, nobody knows it anyway, so. And this is this side of the island. Uh, what's this? It doesn't matter, John, it doesn't have a thing, you can ignore it. I have to assume I've been in all these places. Otherwise I'll be going in and out forever. Um, where is that though? So many resources! Alright, so we're just running back where we were. Water runs from the west. The source is upstream. A broken pipe? So right now my perception isn't great. Uh, what was I going to do? That is the church. We don't want to go in there just yet, even though I suspect that's the name of the episode. Uh, we want to talk to these people first. Specifically you. A shaggy looking girl in her late teens or early twenties kneels on a on the ice with an electronic contraption in her hand. Hearing you approach, oh, she looks up. She must be a a cell a, a cell a the last of the speed freaks posse. It's cold out here, but she's not wearing a hat. She must be freezing. Everyone knows drugs makes you invulnerable to cold. You bet this one likes to party. Yeah, she's quite young. Let's not go there, electrochemistry. The child, it's freezing. Where's your hat? Ah. Maybe she didn't hear you. It's a little louder. I said you should have a hat on. Put a hat on. I should, and I do. Pointed your hat. It's nice. You should wear one too if you plan on staying outside in this yeah, weather. Well, look, man, fuck the hat. Uh, I could try and regain authority and rise. That kind of language really necessary. I'm sorry, I said fuck the hat. I was concentrating on something else. Who is she? Apologise. Family swears and it rubbed off on me. There's a pained expression on her face. But answer your questions now. What are you doing out here in the cold? Recording, I guess. What is it that you're recording? I think I'm recording cracks in the ice, but there's no way to tell. Not without headphones. I think I just recorded your footsteps too. Not sure how that will sound. She scratches her forehead. Wait, what happened to the headphones? My boyfriend stole, sold them. What for? I don't know, man. Things. Just stuff you need for life. A lie, they were probably pawned off for something suspicious. And what are these recordings for? The cracks, the footsteps. Museums in the Palisium use them for making music. They loop the stuff, cutting the tapes together. They make music out of cracks in the ice and keys jangling. Crazy sounds like that. It's hard to explain. Just nod. Anyway, I thought I'd make some too. It's supposed to be like music place anyway? She rubs her shoulders and looks around. I don't really know what I'm doing. They use synthesizers too. I don't have a synthesizer. She looks at the reco recording device, the thing she thought would fill her hours of joy and escape. It's turning out to be an empty fantasy. She feels childish, very useless all of a sudden. Take this, you're cold. Lieutenant begins to take off his jacket. No man, fuck that, I'm cool. I'm sorry I said that. I'm sorry I said fuck. It's okay. Lieutenant backs up. He throws you a glance. Hmm. I don't want to lose my best hat.
Here, you need this more than I do. Yeah, I lost Digmon's hat. Thanks, she puts it on. It's a bit large for her. You said it's supposed to be a music place. Do you mean the one Andre's got planned on? The church? Yes, she nods towards the church. Boys think it could be a place. Like the Palaceum or something stupid. It's really... Pauses. Not going to be the Palaceum, that's for sure. The boys? Yeah, Andre and the guys. Inside the tent. Why is that? Why are you freezing out here while the boys are inside? They've got too much stuff crammed in there. No room. Stuff like what? Didn't you see yourself? It's mostly music stuff. Like this tape recorder, but bigger. I mean like those headphones your boyfriend sold. Yep, she squints her eyes a little. They were pretty. I'm sorry we sold those. Why not just leave some of it outside so you can don't have to freeze? Stuff is more expensive than I am. More expensive than any of us, really. Doesn't matter. I can take the cold. And some other questions conclude. Hmm. Okay, so that's why I gave my hat away, because of my empathy. I could have probably given her a less useful hat. But whatever, that's it's a good excuse. That's it for now. Let's put on... Okay, bye. Let's put on another hat. Logic suggestion. Uh... It's uh, insensitive bachelor party vibes. I don't really have a lot of hats, do I? Plus one perception. You know what? That is a net bonus. And it will counter my glasses, I think. Near and near. Maybe the uh, jacket. Anyway. I, uh... It's not very cool, but I lose some percep. Oh no, no, yeah, yeah. So I gained back the perception I lost in that. But I'm less logical now. I think that's what the hat probably did. The shaggy head girl kneels on the sea ice. She looks at, up at you as you approach. So you talk to my associates, right? Are you going to help us with the church? I mean. I'll help you all right. Let us know if there's any progress, will you? We've been waiting for weeks here. I'll do that last. The others told me you went inside the church. What did you see in there? Oh, that. You're not going to believe me. There's no point in me telling you. She's less prone to blotting out Crab Man than the others. We'll see. Go ahead and tell me. Okay. I went in and saw a woman next to one of those machines there. Noise calls it a mainframe. She was just like someone... She was raised by her grandmother, you know, strange old clothes, with this absent expression. Didn't say anything, just stood still. Go on. And then, you know, right behind her, a man crawled down the wall, upside down, like a crab. Down the church wall. I think the woman didn't even know he was there. He was completely silent. He stopped right before he got to the floor, and just hung there like that, looking at me, right at me. I fucking turned around and walked out. End of story. Like a crab, you say? Turner nods. His face is stone. What did this crab man look like? It was too dark. She shakes her head. I couldn't tell exactly. Come on. She obviously could. She went into detail. Quit stalling on me. What did he look like? He looked like a banger, okay? He was all muscular and stuff. He had a mesh tank top. I, don't, I know it sounds ridiculous, but it only made it scarier in a way. A crab and a banger. Lieutenant raises an eyebrow. Yes, a banger. He's in a, a mask gang member. I know what it sounds like, but it's what I saw. You're wrong. I do believe you. She raises a brow. Why? Seems ludicrous for too ludicrous for a lie. I guess so. She hesitates. Anyway, what else? I'd like to know more about your associates. My associates. She blows on her chilled fingers. I haven't got much to say about them. 
What do you mean? You must know something about them. Of course I do. I just don't tell people about my friends and who they are and so on. I don't provide information on them. Oh. To the cops. What about you? Tell me about something about yourself. Me? I'm a silver bird. You background bird noise. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe I'll ask about this later about all this. You just get a, a cell they talk about her associates. Don't know what makes you think it'll be any different later, but have you seen a redhead woman around? No. Just no. It's pretty desolate here. I only hear the dogs bark at night and see the shadows move down the coast. That's good. No neighbours to complain about the noise when you get the club going. Exactly. It's our chance to turn a grim desolation into an overwhelmingly fun dance party. What's that device you have there? This. She breathes on her freezing fingers. Portable recording device. It's for field recording. No quality, but still. And the wires? Actually, just one wire. I picked on it until the braiding came loose. Wire leads to the contact microphone. What's a contact microphone? A contact mic sounds from inside things. Like this ice. The mangled brain would like to know there is a that there is a boxer called contact mic. Thank you, encyclopedia, that is inexplicably been leveled. <laughs> contact yeah, contact mic. Uh my brain does this, it's really frustrating. Um because it's never at a useful time. Um yeah, any news on my wife's name? How about my mother? Nope. You're welcome. Does this have anything to do with contact Mike? Uh, she's confused. Yeah, I record stuff of it. No, I mean, the boxer contract Mike. Ah, no. This is a contact microphone. It's for recording inside solid objects. Contact Mike just beats people up. That's not fair. That's an understatement. <laughs> Why would it, why, I'm not going to go that direction. Uh, I don't really care that much. How does the thing work? The mic? I don't exactly know. Somehow it doesn't pick up on the vibrations from the air. The box said it only picks up structure-born sound, if you like techno babble. Where did you get the mic from? Same place I got the recorder from. The Palisseum. What's the Palisseum? Oh man, you haven't been to the Palisseum. She forgets herself for the moment. It's the coolest place in this whole drug-addled shithole. It's the music club and a synthesizer workshop on Boogie Street in Jamrock. Musicians live there, like real musicians. I once saw Arno van Eyck. Thinking about it really cheers her up. It's a long way from here. The hell? The hell? Uh, let's not accidentally click that. Sounds interesting. Who's this Arno guy? Oh yeah. She looks you over, assessing your age. Guess you wouldn't know about Van Eyck, or really any Palisian going kind of person. Hey, didn't uh, a piss fascist and fuck the world mention Van Eyck? I get down. <laughs> That's a very John answer. Um, is it like a skull thing? A skull thing? She shakes her head. Man, you sound like a hundred years old when you say that. No, you don't. She's mistaken you for an old person. Say so you're cool. I get down. I don't know what that means. I grind. I don't know what that means either. Nor do I, but I have concrete evidence that I rock in the form of a wrecked tape player in a completely trashed hostel room. That's cool. She breathes on her fingers like she doesn't know what to say. You're right, time has deserted me. She looks at you oddly. Sucks, man. She squints her eyes for a second, trying to remember something, then lets go of it. Was there something else about the contact mic, perhaps? You know, contact mic doesn't just beat people up. Contact mic is a role model. Um. An entire litany spews forth. That's a mean thing to say. Don't say that. Yeah, you heard right. You should try to be more like Contact Mike. 
A successful athlete and an inspirational figure who's overcome social, physical, and mental obstacles. Man, you're a one-word cop. I don't know this for sure, but she is in the middle of the ice, though, and we did have to give her a hat. Alright, this is because I, I lost a hat. This isn't about me. It's about your lack of respect for the boxing greats and for yourself. What is it with you and this Mike guy? She pauses. The question is rhetorical. Litany of contact. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's why we did this. Okay, if it floats your boat, I'll like. I'll be more like contact Mike and like me, and less like me. Self-respect is not meant to float any boats but your your own. I'll keep that in mind for future use. She turns to check a tape recorder. Actually, I had some non-mic questions for you. Okay. Okay, hey, there we go. More like contact mic now. That actually helped. Tell me about this music player you've been plan planning in, in the church. It's supposed to be like a club for the anodic an dance music. Like the new style of synthesizer stuff they play at the Polysium. Except that, yeah, she looks like... She looks at the old wooden church up on the poles. As a mean wind comes bellowing in, the six-story structure lets out a doleful shriek. The floorboards are twisting and shooting beams, but slowly cracking out like bones. Far east of the Golden Delta, beyond the industrial port, there is a black patch of unlit coast, the smallest creatures are on the ice. There will never be a club for an anodic music here. Not in a million years. What is an anodic dance music? Oh, you know, anodic, cathodic music that's made with electronic instruments. Electronic instruments, like what? Synthesizers and tape consoles, microcomputers too, anything that uses electricity, but not guitars. Also found sounds, stuff like that. You see a clear, beautiful flashes of light, light cutting through sm smoke-filled darkness. That is the future, what the future will look like. If it ever comes. Enough about the church, I had another question. Conclude. Uh. Okay, he seems like a lot. Minus one logic, minus one conceptualization, minus one drama. I don't think I shall. Although I, I kind of want to get rid of this Wompty Dumpty centre. And stop being a pretentious wanker. There we go. Empathy legendary. Uh, I gave her a hat and I told him to be more like contact Mike. The tape of Kaida quarter lies on the ice like a discarded toy. Pick it up. Success! The device is still warm from her touch, as heavy as a brick. From the batteries inside, the company logo Omicron adorns its yellow plastic cover. Where the tape is rolling, the girl looks at the device in your, st in your hands. I'm sorry you have to sit here on the ice feeling miserable. At your age, or at any age in this weather, waiting for it to get dark. She looks you in the eye, her pupils wide, surrounded by ridiculous amounts of makeup. The people who built this world intended it to be better for you. They failed. It is easier to live in their failure with this by your side. Tap on the tape recorder. The wind howls. She remains silent. It's real. Tell her. It is not a childish fantasy. It can be a real weapon against what's coming for you now. What is... Her shoulders shake a little. Don't talk about contact Mike, John. <laughs> well, it's funny that you can just talk about contact Mike. Uh, what's coming? The dark? Nothing if you've got this. Don't be scared. Dark. I know. Her teeth rattle. Takes the device from you. Places it in her lap. 
I'll stick to it. Something changes between you two. He looks at you differently now, as an equal, a fellow human being. After a moment of silence, she speaks again. So thanks, I guess, for the cyclist session. Maybe I can return it. What's been eating you, officer? Is it eating me? There's nothing eating me. Come on, I can tell. She shakes her head slowly. But, okay. Be a, a boyodera about it if you want to. I guess there is something that's been making my life hell. What is it? The blight of the working class! I don't, I, I don't know why it's funny every time, but it is! <laughs> I'm, I'm taking it. It's actually the best option. Uh, I don't have, like, a... He can't discuss his own personal problems here, so... I think it's the plight of the working class. Oh, really? The golem of capital runs rampant, smashing creator and slave alike. I fear the process is irreversible. Wow, social justice really matters that much to you. That's commendable. Really, had you shaken up there? Are you sure that's that's it, though? Um, no, that's probably not it. Is, is it? Let's be honest. No, it sounds like you've just got a chick issues. Now that you mention it, I found these letters I'd thrown in the trash. They might have something to do with it. Okay, why do you think that? They were written in a woman's hand, and oh boy, I did not did reading them make me not feel good. There you have it then. Chick trouble, not political after all. Who was she? I don't remember. Really? She appears to believe you. You seem pretty upset about this Chica. Are you sure you don't remember anything about her? I remember her scent. That's all. Well oh, man, that's pretty strange shit. She rubs the her sides for warmth. Are you sure the letters were for you? Yeah, I'm sure. Why would I have reacted so strongly otherwise? How come you don't remember, though? Is it like some selective memory thing? I think it's more me getting so unbelievably drunk I completely erased all memory of this world. Yeah, or it might be that. It's one time I did so much booze that I forgot, too. It's obvious she's done more than booze. Or it might be just psych bullshit, you know. Königstein wank. What is this Königstein wank? You know, the psych thing they've got going on here. Rich people like it. People in Königstein are mostly rich. Thanks for the bullshit psych thing, then. You're welcome. She sinks for the, uh, a second, stretching her jaw. Might be for the best to keep that shit forgotten, though. Just my opinion. If it itches, don't scratch. Yes, but it itches really, really bad. Yeah, that's it for now. You've sharpened your senses by being on the lookout for missing persons. Now you notice more of what's happening around you. Perhaps when you're done with this case, you can join the searchlight division of the RCM and find every Revicholian that's ever gone missing without a trace. There is undoubtedly a backlog of such cases. Because you never know, a missing person could just be around the edge, barely out of sight. Plus two perception, clear-eyed pursuit of truth. That's a really nice one. That, that like, it has literally no downsides. Hmm. But that one's just funny. Uh, or, but, I mean, it, it, oh yeah, I should always be doing the dialogue choices anyway, shouldn't I? Cool, we are not done here. In fact, we barely started. Yellow moss on these stones, they're probably stolen from someone's garden. Now I can chat with them for leaving the girl outside. Because that's a dick move. You know what's really cool? 
That Dick Mullen hat was given to me by uh, a younger girl, so like it's it's actually been passed along. It's really kind of neat visually. Capri Lange engine starting fluid. Hi again. So, uh, how are things going? He looks excited. The tips of his hair are sharp and white. The bleach has consumed almost all the toothbrush uh, on the mirror in front of him. You mentioned some kind of ecclesiastics own the church. Who are these ecclesiastics? Oh yeah, that's a meteoran name for the founding party. Thought it'd be cool to use it. If you don't know what the founding party is, there might be a way to mask it with minor demagoguery. Before we go on, what do you mean by Meteoran? You know, of Meteo, concerning Meteo? Meteo? Meteo, a country? On Monday? Looks at you, squinting his eyes to see if you're kidding. On the Monday, a solar. One of the poorest and first world nations today. But once a great ancient civilization, capital Thylicus by Persantic. Oh, the founding party. I do know them, but... Can you refresh my memory? Come to think of it, I've never really looked them up. You know, I can't give you a precise definition. They're a very powerful religious organization. And... And they have roots in ancient mass society, he pauses. And they're called the custodians of the Perkincarnassian church. Plus, they anoint the innocents. They, like, made the innocentric system, no? It doesn't sound like they would appreciate a dance club in their church. You're totally wrong about that. He shakes his head. The Percarnassian church is about love. And no dictated music is about love. I've got love for my Percarnassian posse. Love is the relay out of death. We dance. He violently shakes the tape player as if to see if he can break it. Love is hardcore. Unity. Unity. Make some noise for my Intilidian posse. Turns the music up and looks at you with a knowing nod, as if it's obvious you <laughs> will now break into dance. That skull instrument, you feel it. The anodes and the cathodes coursing through you. Your big toe starts tapping along to the bass. No words. Enjoy the beat. Nod your head. Feels good. I guess love can be pretty hardcore. Oh yeah, it can. He's coming around. He nods at his friend. When he then turns to you with a mischievous j uh, grin. You're getting it. I don't un understand what you're talking about. What's a posse? Your posse's like your people, man. Like, you've got your cop posse. You look out for each other and you party together. That's a posse. And when where is your posse, detective? Nothing comes to you. The world is silent. Yeah. I failed. I now understand that it was lame of me to suggest otherwise. I know that music is about love, and so is the Pericarnesian Church. Proceed. Yeah! Yakakakata! The place to be! He seems ecstatic that you share his vision of Pericarnesianism. Do it for the masses. Do it for the crew. His friend forms a fist with a screwdriver still in his hand. Provingly so. I didn't want to say it, but it was pretty lame of you to imply otherwise. Anyway, you got more questions. The one with the large head is still looking at you, nodding his head, waiting for your body to start moving. Composure. You feel like you could go for a little dis disco when, or if, this club gets going. You've got it in you. I want to talk to you about this tent full of equipment. Yeah, what? I see you bought your own water. Yeah, yeah, good to have. Bits to carry. When I first scouted the place, I did some reconnaissance. I'm not sure the church even has running water. And it's distilled too. Oh, he doesn't know what to say. It's the one they sell at the fuel station. Like he's lying to you, my liege. But it's slippery enough that there is nothing for you to grab hold of. Yeah. What's with all the nose affair? What now? He leans in to hear you better. 
Point to the bottles of nasal spray in the corner. The nose of head ultra? You have a lot of it lying around. Oh, the ultra, we are... Uh, it's like an actor looking for a souffleur for his line. I have major sinus infection. Stuffy nose. That's... I mean, these aren't for my nose, but... Uh, I should consider... Uh, I don't have a sinus infection. I just have uh, allergies. Uh, stuffy nose, we all do. Shit's blasted up. Winter, can't even believe. Breathe. Sound fine to me. Yes, he nods energetically. That's all Nose of Fed's doing. Not the Noser. I'd be drowning in this shit right now. Nose of Fed is the shit. And I have some... I have nose problems too. I'm uh, sure. He picks up one of the... From the corner and hands it to you. Here you go, officer. The Noser. Blast away. I hate to tell you, but it reeks of sweat in here. It does, doesn't it? Told you we have a smell problem. He picks up a piece of telephone cord and inspects it. Wait, I also smell ether. Why? Ether? I don't smell ether. Do you, Noid? Nope. It's mixed with a peculiar chemical scent, like laundry detergent. It sniffs the air, then shrugs. It doesn't take a forensic scientist to guess it's drug related. They look and act like the kind of guys who've done their fair share. However, their breathing is regular, their jaws stay put, and the pupils aren't dilated, so they're not under the influence right now. At least not under the influence of stimulants that doesn't rule out hallucinogens, benzos, some depressants. How do you know all this? I get the nose of it, but what about the engine starting fluid? The engine starting fluid? It's for starting engines. What engines do you start with it? How's that extra high aether content working out for you? Does it do the trick? I guess it does. You're not completely satisfied yet. You know, maybe that slight scent of ether I felt before was somehow connected to ethyl ether? No idea, man. Did you know that ethyl ether used is used as a lyst, an aesthetic, and a solvent, and an explosive, and for manufacturing methamphetamine? What engines do you start with it? Uh, what's with the goddamn Roman Garod hearings? It's cold. The fluids for the generator. It points towards the machine. Keep it on, sire. Good. How yeah, about another thing? Right, enough of this. Logic Godly, 16. Maybe everything isn't quite as you've been told. Take a moment to analyse. Number of things don't add up. Take a look. How about another gather round, kids? I've got bad news for you, Andre. Things don't add up. What things? He senses something is wrong. This isn't the makings of a club. It's a tent full of laboratory equipment for manufacturing drugs. I have no idea how you arrived to that conclusion, but it's wrong. Look, we even have speakers. He points to the speakers. One speaker. They have one speaker. You have no headphones. Wouldn't a Sally need her headphones to spin tape? What do you know about spinning tape? Nothing. I know you pawn them. Likely for lab equipment and drug ingredients. I'm sorry, but there are no lab equipment and no drug ingredients. Where's his friend? Did you... He lose his friend? What do you mean friend? The other speaker. You only have one. It's a, it's a one speaker system. It's monodynamic. You wouldn't know the first thing about sound reproduction in nodic music. Other speaker? Pfft. This may be brain damage talking, but you've definitely heard, never heard of monodynamic or one speaker systems. The nose of Fed here is for the, its active ingredient. Said it was for his nose. What more do you want? Likely a, a pseudo. pseudoephrine? Almost exactly the shape of edephrine. Edephrine makes you happy, and so does pseudoephrine. I know, I've mispronounced that. The distilled water, cornerstone of a clean lab. And of all cellular-based life, what's your point, Lordbringer? The ethyl ether from the Coupri Lange, a solvent, good for getting acting agent out of a solution. Make up your mind. First it's the sweat, then it's the ether. He smells nervously. There's no need for me to pile on anymore, is there? No oh, shit, he sounds tired.
Your server? Was it hard for you to keep sober for this meeting? We don't need your drugs to be hardcore. Shut the fuck up, eggs. Maybe not today, egg, but you need drugs to get me to get through the days when you're not expecting me. Climb down from the equestrian monument, cop man. Consciousness is new to the universe. We have our ways to ease the shock. Bottom line is, I know. Proceed. What exactly do you know? He sounds confrontational. In short, you tried to use a police detective to set up a drug lab. That's... He waves his hands. Come on, that's... Against the law? I meant to say not true. What are we going to do with you? What do you mean, do? There's resignation in his voice. He's almost ready to drop the act. It wouldn't take a lot of pushing. The optimal way to, to go about this would be indifference. Begins by telling you, him you don't care about any of this. How is it? I didn't expect to do a bust. I should have spoken to the others first. I don't really care. I just wanted to crack the case. Do what you want, and I'll do what I want. Really? He sounds relieved. Really, really. I wanted to ask you about something else. You wanted to just ask me? He's a bit perplexed now. About something else. Shrug. Or you can tell me the plan for the... What the... Or you can tell me the plan for the church really was. The, the what the plan was. He thinks for a moment, then opens his mouth, then closes it again, and finally, finally raises his hands. Things are just way too hard for the entrepreneur. I hate that word so much in the city. It's not like we're gonna turn the ch this church into the wickedest, wickedest club in East Revachol. Because we are, we totally are. We're gonna turn it to, into a speed lab first. You know, to get our foot in the door. Why did you need me? Like I told you, spooky assholes moved in. Well, I was getting all this stuff together. A month ago, I, the places was empty and now it's all spooked up. They're not really spooky, are they? No man, they're spooky, alright. It's just that they would also probably call the police if we started cooking speed in there. But the sign was way off too. I couldn't feel the love at all. What now? This is it. Judgment time. Ah. I'll have a look into the spookier situation before I decide what to do with you. Decide later. Awesome. We can continue on an amiable path, right? No more misunderstandings? No more lies? He nods, smiling cautiously. Before you go, is there anything else you need? That's it for now. As always, we'll be right here, waiting patiently for the news, yeah? However, T500. Awesome. I. Ooh, bloody hell. Am I going to be meeting people with FT500 armor? Remember the weakness you were looking for in the ceramic armor? Like, maybe it, it can only move. Uh, it can only stop small, fast projectiles, but a large, slow moving pry bar would shatter it. Or, if I run an electrical current through it, maybe it will melt. Or, personal favorite, frequency something something radio weapon. None of that would work. You need to shoot the part of the enemy that doesn't have the fair weather T-500 on it. Because the armor itself is invulnerable. Good news, so are the armor pieces on you. Plus two hand co and eye coordination against enemies in that armor. I'm just going to save my game to make sure I can still arrest him if I want to. It would, Even though it's uh, narky, it would be nice to arrest people. I've got so much drugs. So Hi this again. is just me checking. So, uh, how are things going? Uh, I don't even know what the uh, founder party is. Come to think of it, I've never really given looked at. Uh, okay, nod. Have I lost that conversation point? Or do I actually have to look into... Because... 
yeah, I'm worried that I'm now missing something. Because I didn't do that first. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Egghead, a young man with a peroxide blonde hair. I couldn't tell he had blonde hair. I thought he was... Uh, holds up a Harmon while she tape player, nodding along to the music. He looks at you with a knowing smile and says, as though you're supposed to be sharing some tremendous evangel evangelical secret. Hardcore! Hot. Oh. Is it's it? Hardcore! Are you going to keep saying it's hardcore? You're going to keep saying it's hardcore, skip aren't you? Skipper D, skip a danger. I am the rearranger. Uh, could there have been the right way out of this garden of forking paths, you think? This is hardcore. Hardcore! Say nothing. Don't say nothing. Hardcore to the mega! Say nothing. Coherent. Don't hardcore. say nothing. Alright! Yeah! Say nothing. He follows his brow at uh, his very large head. What? He furrows his brow as his very large head traces the sublime invisible movement of the music in a very real air of stuffy tent. Ah! He lets out an agonized roar over the feeble-ish, obviously not too hardcore be beat below. So hardcore. He stops dead in his tracks, tilting his head to the side. It what is! is it? I mean, really. He tilts his head to the other side like an owl. Feels like you should reply with the same the very pinnacle of idiocy, idiocy here. The other things get totally transcendent, but you haven't gotten there yet, so you don't know what to say. I was thinking I that too. I am the I am the chick's checker. Yeah! Well, that's kind of odd. Weird quest. Back to the heavyweight jam. Says the young man with the tape player and the large Boyodaro boots. Long shaped trees spout on his silver belt hard buckle. Car. It's hard Is it? car. I don't know what to say to that. Skip a D, skip a danger. I am the rearranger. So you had a talk with Andre, and now you want to discuss things with Noid. Good. Skin shows through the holes in the Speed Freak's too large sweater. Uh, in front of him, an open toolbox full of carpentry it's tools and parts. Talk to Andre first. Gave me time to get a reading on your sign. Can't really talk to people before you get a reading. He runs his hand through his hair, which is combed back in mock seriousness, and continues to fiddle with some gears. Sign? Yeah, gotta compare. See if we align. Interesting. A sucker socializing man, but now. Even now, our sign synchronization is way off, but I'll see what I can do. He continues to rearrange his tools. Tell me about the machines you saw in the church. He cringes. Weird stuff. Specialized. There was data processor and some sort of long wave machinery. Wires going into the water. Gives off a spy sign. Some fucked up Samaran science sign. You know, kind of, that goes headfirst into the supernatural. Supra. The People's Republic of Samara is a product of revolutional sister revolution on the Grad Asola. It's known to be known as a severely degenerated rogue state. Don't be too hard on the Samara. They're all alone in the world. Half of what we know of them is just propaganda. I know, man, I was just talking about the aesthetic. What's wrong with the supernatural? Nothing's wrong with it. Should definitely be researched. You could, you could still do six. Shit with it though. The sickest, and that is perhaps why it should be researched. The supernatural. So you think it's real? That it actually exists. Most of it doesn't exist. There's also some stuff that isn't allowed to exist because the moralists think it's too dangerous for the plebs. Psionic powers, pale-related diseases, pretenders pretending to be human, folk rights, that kind of stuff. I cannot save my game. Okay, maybe I'll come back later. Right. You are now leaving the proximity and my Disco Elysium adventure. I've been John Proxy, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Save a new game.